Today we're going to follow along with our series where we've been taking screen captures and using Microsoft Paint and we're going to use another tool that's built into Windows 7. So we'll go ahead and click on Start button and we'll click on All Programs and Accessories and click on the Snipping Tool. The Snipping Tool is a tool that you can use to just take small chunks of the screen like we did with paint when we were just taking a crop of paint. With this tool it's much easier so all we do is just left click with the mouse and then drag the cursor and wherever you drag the cursor it draws this box and that's what's going to be snipped in the picture. So we're going to drag it up in the top corner and let go and as soon as we let go the snip program automatically snips that piece of the screen for us. So once we have that piece of the screen, we can actually do some other things. We can draw on it, highlight it, and we can send it to people, save it, whatever we want to do. So if you click this pen button here at the top, then you'll have the pen tool and you can actually write on the screen with the pen. If you don't like that or you want to get rid of it, you can erase it with the erase tool. So you click on the eraser tool and you just click on one of the little lines that we drew and the whole thing goes away because that was all one big line. You can highlight with the highlighter. If you click the highlighter tool, you could highlight the word recycle bin. If you don't like that, you could also erase that. So then you can click this button. It's a send snip button. You can send your snip to someone. So you're going to send it to the help desk dude that's asking you about the error message that you're having. You go ahead and just click that button and it'll bring up your email program. You can copy it, so let's say you want to paste it into Microsoft Word. If you hit copy here, click Start button, All Programs, Accessories, and WordPad. And when we go into WordPad, we can click the Paste button up here and paste that right into our document. So if this was Microsoft Word or your email program or whatever, you could just paste it right in. We can also just save it if we want to save it as a file. So we'll go ahead and click the Save Snip button. So we'll give it a name and we'll call it our Snip. And then we'll go ahead and change it to JPEG file. You could leave it PNG. There's nothing wrong with PNG. I still think that JPEG right now is, is the standard for pictures. And for some people, it's just easier to open JPEGs. It's easier for their programs to recognize JPEG files or JPG or JPEG files. So we're going to change it to a JPEG file. Go ahead and save it. And now it's in our pictures folder here. So we can even preview that. You can see that that's our picture. And that's how you use the snip tool.